الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today's فائدة benefit is going to be brought out of the book فوائد الفوائد um, or well known as Al Fawaid by Al Imam Al Alama Shamsuddin Ibn Al Qayyim Al Jawziya Rahimahullah. Ibn Al Qayyim he says in the publication of Dar Ibn Al Jawzi, which is the Tahqiq of Ali Hassan Ibn Ali Ibn Abdul Hamid Al Halabi Al Athari, uh, page 200, uh, 204. Page 204, Ibn Al Qayyim says, and he's talking about. The aspiration of a student of knowledge. Ibn al Qayyim says, "A'la al Himami fi talab al Ilmi, talab Ilm al Kitab wa Sunna, wal Fahm an Allah wa Rasulih nafs al Muradi wa Ilm Hudud al Munzali." Ibn al Qayyim says, "The highest aspiration of a student of knowledge is to seek." the knowledge of the kitab and the sunnah. The highest aspiration of a student of knowledge is to seek the knowledge of the kitab and the sunnah. وَالْفَهْمُ And it's to understand عَنِ اللَّهِ from Allah. It is to understand from Allah وَرَسُولِهِ and His Messenger نَفْسَ murad What they exactly meant. Also, وَعِلْمَ حُدُودِ الْمُنْزَلِ And also learning the boundaries of the one that, the thing that was set down. The Qur'an and the Sunnah, the boundaries in which they set. So that's the highest level of aspiration that a student of knowledge can have. Is to seek the knowledge of the Kitab the knowledge of the sunnah, try to understand exactly what Allah means in this verse, to understand that which the Prophet ﷺ has said, what he meant by it, by studying the books of hadith, by studying the Qur'an and its tafsir, that's the highest aspiration that a student of knowledge can have. Then Ibn al-Qayyim goes on to say in, وَأَخَسُّ هِمَ طُلَّابِ الْعِلْمِ وَأَخَسُّ هِمَ بِالطُّلَّابِ الْعِلْمِ And the lowest level of the aspiration of a student of knowledge is مَنْ قَصَرَ هِمَّتِهِ The person whose aspiration falls short in على تتبع الشواذ المسائل by trying to follow strange matters strange matters in the religion like issues which scholars they said but they were strange in this view or they were alone on this view and that wasn't the view of the majority or it wasn't the view of um, the uh, consensus of this ummah but it's a view which is shad he likes to follow those views and he likes to learn those وَمَا لَمْ يَنْزِلْ وَلَا هُوَ وَاقِعٌ And he likes to learn that which hasn't happened or that hasn't come down and that which doesn't take place in reality. He likes to learn those things. If this happened and if this happened, he likes to learn those things. And then Ibn al-Qayyim went on to say, أَوْ كَانَتْ هِمَّتُهُ Or his aspiration is what? مَعْرِفَةِ الْإِخْتِلَافِ To know the disputes and the khilaf of the scholars. وَتَتَبُّعَ and he loves to follow up aqwal and nasi the statements of the people. Fulan said this, Alan said this, he said this. That's all he loves to do. He loves to follow up the differences that the scholars hold within themselves. He will say to Shafi'i, said this, Ahmed said this, Fulan said this. Or even the contemporary scholars, he said this, he said this, he said this. He likes that. وَلَيْسَ لَهُ هِمَّتٌ And he has no aspiration. إِلَى مَعْرِفَةِ الصَّحِيحِ مِنْ تِلْكَ الْأَقْوَالِ he doesn't like to learn 
that he has no aspiration in wanting to know all those views that you've mentioned, which one is the strongest? Which one is the correct view? He doesn't want to know. He just memorizes it. So say, Fulan, Sheikh said this, Sheikh So said this, and Sheikh So said this, and Sheikh So said this. Good. Which one is right? He doesn't, has, he doesn't have the aspirations into wanting to know and to recognize from those views which was the strongest and which one is the correct one. Why wouldn't he? Because he doesn't know the sciences that can allow him to know. He doesn't know Mustalah al-Hadith and the science of Hadith. He doesn't know Usul al-Fiqh. And he doesn't know that which falls under Usul al-Fiqh. Um, such as learning the Dalalat al-Alfaz and that which they mean, the Umum, the Khusus, the Mutlaq, the Muqayyad, the Aam, the Khas, uh, the Mujmal, the Mubayyan, uh, the Muhkam, the Mutashab. He doesn't want to know any of that. He just says, Sheikh So said this, and Sheikh So said this. خلاص. وقل a little is, Ibn Rukai said, أن ينتفع واحد من هؤلاء بعلمه. Those type of people, little of them benefit from their knowledge. Somebody whose aspiration is only to follow the Masai'id which are shan. Or he loves to follow matters which haven't taken place, that haven't happened. Or he loves to follow the differences amongst the scholars. Or he loves to know what so-and-so said, said and so-and-so said. But doesn't want to know which one is strongest. From those views, those type of people, Ibn al-Qayyim is saying, it is little that they benefit from their own knowledge. وَأَعْلَى الْهِمَمِ فِي بَابِ الْإِرَادَةِ Now Sheikh is telling you the highest aspiration in which a person can have that drive, that motivation, that want is أن الهمة, that your aspiration is متعلقة, it is connected to بحبة الله, the love of Allah you've connected you, your aspiration in the love of Allah والوقوف مع مراده, and you stand by knowing the meaning and the intent of what Allah means by this the world, religious matters and the commands that he gives and the lowest type of irada, drive and the will is that your aspiration is what? Your only concern is the intent of yours and not the intent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the intent of another person. Not the one of Allah wa ta'ala or that which Allah means. مَعَ مُرَادِ صَاحِبِهَا مِنَ اللَّهِ from Allah. فَهُوَ that individual. إِنَّمَا يَعْبُدُ لِمُرَادِهِ مِنْهُ لَا لِمُرَادِ اللَّهِ مِنْهُ He worships his own interpretation, his own meanings of what he intended by it. Then what Allah meant by it and that which Allah wa ta'ala was uh, trying to say. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Ibn al-Qayyim then said, فَالْأَوَّلُ The first one, يُرِيدُ اللَّهَ The first one who has the high aspiration is the one who wants Allah. وَيُرِيدُ مُرَادَهُ And he wants Allah's meaning and intent by things. The second one who has low aspiration is the one who is يُرِيدُ مِنَ اللَّهِ He wants from Allah. وَهُوَ فَارِقٌ عَنْ إِرَادَتِهِ But he is empty from wanting him, Allah wa ta'ala. He only wants from Allah. But he's empty huh? in wanting him, Allah wa ta'ala. So inshallah ta'ala, that fa'idah of Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, uh, I hope I've benefited you in saying it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayhi.